Big shot for LBW. And not the worst shot at all. It may have just slipped back a little. It might have just drifted down the leg side, but uh, get him low down. It was worth a query. Certainly worth a shot. This is a very good shot. Again, very close to the stumps. The ball pitches in line and just, well, that certainly is a very good shot. Short, cut away and through for four. That is a brilliant stroke from Kelly. That stroke will fill him with a great deal of confidence. The most positive shot this morning. Oh, he's gone up for the catch. And you hear the nod out emphatically from umpire Clutie. And there was a big deflection there. The away swing was enhanced by the outside edge here. No, he's missed it. Look at that. You can see daylight between bat and ball. That is a lovely stroke. Short, slashed away for four, lovely stroke. Good shot, lovely stroke, beautiful timing, the shot of the morning for four. Driven and through. It's a fast outfield, but it's the longest one on the boundary. But it's going to go for four despite the efforts. That's a beautiful shot. That's wonderfully timed. That's going to go all the way for four runs. Straight back past the bowler. Magnificent shot from James Marshall. Nick and gone. So there's the first wicket. Napier gets it. And it's a much needed Nick wicket for England. They really have toiled very hard this morning. And they know how important this first wicket is. Just a faint Nick. There it is. Not loud enough for all and sundry to hear. But importantly, the first wicket down. James Marshall, he's going for 26. And New Zealand, 71 for one. And gone. Wow. Two quick wickets now for Napier. And the England boys are very happy indeed. His uh, medium pace balls in from nice and close to the stumps. Good tidy line. Healthy Nick. And Milton moves very smartly to his right to take a comfortable catch. So, England certainly back in this game after New Zealand getting off to a very good start. Oh, pulled away and gone. Inglefield has perished to the pressure. Chris Schofield takes the catch and uh, the advantage now goes to England. Shortish, not too short to pull high up on the bat and a pretty simple catch. So New Zealand lose their third wicket. We into the 18th over. Well, it's a poor delivery. He's off it with and uh, the shackles are broken. That's been cut away for four by Vincent and a much needed boundary for New Zealand. Well, that's a loose one. Certainly would have been a wide, but they're going to pick up two runs, I think. Is it brilliant fielding? No, it's not. Almost was. Got him. Straight delivery. Pressure was building all along. You could see it happening. And Hayward has picked up a vital wicket here. Vincent just trying to something a little bit unorthodox and pays the penalty as the furniture is disturbed. Well, Vincent had faced 44 deliveries for his 19. And you can see he was trying to make things happen on that occasion. Playing across the line. And Haywood strikes. So celebrations there again for the England players. There's a couple of runs here. Very fast outfield of the Wanderers. It's in magnificent condition and it's going to go for four. Rise of catch it and he's gone. So that is a vital wicket. We were talking about Marshall being the mainstay. Not anymore. And Hayward picks up his third wicket. The New Zealanders will be very disappointed with us. He's hung around for a long time. Has Marshall and just chips it to the man in mid wicket. It's on his way. And Hamish Marshall goes for 14. 118 for 5 now, New Zealand. And it really is disappointing after being none for 71. Pulled away in the deep. He's got most of this, Franklin. It should go for four and does. Pulled away. And that's a good shot away over mid-wicket. The placement is very good indeed. And that's four to McGlashy. Lovely straight drive. Powerfully hit by Franklin for four. 
Oh, squeezed away. Chase for Peters. Oh, and that'll be called for, I fancy. Four it is. Touch the rope, ball in hand. Chips it over the inner ring. And he's hit it well enough. This is going to run away for four. Whacked away through mid-wicket. This could go for four. Powell is the chaser. And is beaten despite the slide. Well, he's just whipped that away ever so cleanly. And the placement is perfect. No effort there. Just flicked it off his pads. That is a lovely stroke. Oh, is a chance missed. Key, the offender. And another one. But it's a beauty. That really is a magnificent shot. It's gone all the way for six. That is absolutely outstanding. That's past the keeper. It's gone very fine indeed. It should be four runs, and it is. Third man, third man can't get to that. That's a good blow. And it's gone all the way. Six runs. Got him. Try to give himself some room to hit it past that man. It's short, fine leg. It was dead on line with the stumps. The furniture disturbed. And a very good innings from McGlashan has finished. 53, well by Franks of just 39 deliveries. Three fours and two sixes. It's a good blow, nice and straight. It could go all the way for four. It's a beautiful shot. That's four runs. So what a great way to finish the innings for New Zealand. West has cashed in with 13 not out of just eight deliveries. And Franklin has played superbly for his 56 of 67. Six fours. It really was a very good knock from that youngster. A terrific knock by uh, McGlashan and Franklin in particular. They put on 99, those two, to help uh, New Zealand recover from 118 for five to that total of 241 for six. Question is, is that going to be too many for England? A quick look at the England bowling figures will show you that uh, well, Hayward was outstanding. Ten overs, five maidens, three. Excellent opening partnership between Peters and Key. Peters went on to get 100, and Shah chipped in with 50 not out at the end. Let's have a look at the highlights. It's a lovely stroke for four. Slightly short and quickly onto it. Got the weight over the ball, timed it and placed it well. Well, it's short again and it gets the same treatment. Beautiful timing and placement. Four more. Good over this for England. Short cut away a poor delivery and it gets the treatment it deserved we've seen Peters very strong in that region and that's his third boundary well he's very very good to anything short Stephen Peters in the air cries of catch it I'm not too sure whether it carried or not a very dejected bowler so it looks like it might have He's just bunting it back in the air for a while and down well certainly did carry short and well played behind square there's no one out there protecting that boundary and that's four runs that's a beautiful shot great control and again that's four more runs that's another beautiful shot this time well in front of square it's beautifully played it's back with a point it's going to pick the gap in the field Marshall, the chaser, and four runs. That's in the air, but it's in the gap. It's beautifully hit. It should go for four. It's a fast outfield, and it does. So 50 on the board now for Peters, of just 55 deliveries, and remarkably, eight fours in that 50. Oh, goodness me. Well... He's been put down. What a simple catch that was. Edged and wide of the diving McGlashan. Down to third man for four. Nicely placed. The art feels fast. This will be another boundary. Oh, and this could be the wicket. And it is. Well, we're just talking about it. He didn't need to really try and force the pace, Robert Key. 
And the length wasn't right for the pull. He's trying to get it away. Got the top edge. And a much, much needed wicket for New Zealand. And once again, this game throws up yet another vagary. It's a lovely stroke for four. On the up. Just a punch. Timing good. In the air and gone. Well, he's attempted the heave to the onside. Got the top edge. And Franks goes. And at 122 for two. A little bit of hope for New Zealand. And how Kyle Mills enjoyed taking the catch. Sweeping early. Good change of pace. The top edge. And watch the six shooter come out here when he's completed the catch. Big breakthrough. End of Franks. A man who can be damaging. Too much loop on that occasion. Is it going to be four? It is. That's a fine shot. Oh, goodness me, that's loose. And it's also four runs. That's good running again. There'll be overthrows here, and I think it's going to be four overthrows. So that's five runs. Well, a man a bit off. Very sluggish in getting around to back that up. So that certainly is a bonus for England. Short, pulled away for four. Rank bad ball by Anderson. This is it, he's kicked it away through square leg and comes back for the second. He will probably come back for a third and that is a brilliant hundred in the NTN Under-19 World Cup for Stephen Peters. And the elation is visible. Congratulations Stephen Peters, that has been a world-class innings. And there's more runs, four of them. Take it, That's high in the air, cries of catch it, there's a fours one near it, west it is, and he completes a very good catch indeed. And he takes it again, well that was pretty sharp, behind his back also. Very well taken by west, and that uh, is a very big wicket. We talked a little while ago that a couple of wickets might just change the perspective of this match and make the team panic a little bit, and this is what happened around the wicket into a little bit of rough there bounced a bit more than anticipated hit it high up in the air and West moving very nicely took the catch tossed it up in the air and then caught it beautifully behind his back the hero of this match so far 107 caught West bold leg spinner Anderson with just 125 deliveries and that included also 12 fours so it's been an outstanding performance from this youngster Looking for two, very good use of the feet. I think he's going to come back. He does, and they make it quite comfortably. And that really is a very good 50 from the captain, away Sharp. Robin, and Swan, off the mark with a maximum. It's a beautiful shot, magnificent shot through extra cover. Four runs, oh, that is really well played. There's more runs now, this time it might be four, it is. So a big over this is for Swan and England. Well Graham Swan's played quite superbly. He moves to 21. His timing has been impeccable. His placement has been superb. Short ball, looks for the gap and steers it through. And the first ball will be over. And Swan said, over to you, Captain. So, one to win. Scores a level at the moment. One ball left in this 46 over. Here's the expected change room. Leg by. And there it is. So what a magnificent victory for England. And quite rightly so, Oasis Shah is delighted. Raises his back to his teammates. The stumps are grabbed for souvenirs. The players in the changing celebrate. That's good to see the two captains embrace. But what a magnificent performance from England. They certainly weren't one of the most fancy teams in this NTN Under-19 World Cup. But they've come through, they've done the job, and they've won.
And they won in style as well. 2-4-2 two, for two, three, seven wickets, four overs to spare. Brilliant knock by Peters, excellent work by Shah at the end, and Swan a little cameo, 22 off 13.